Hey, what's up everyone? I am Church of Caboose. Thank you for checking in to see this video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Destiny's 2 Shadow Keep. But before we get into that, I want to give a special thank you to my sister-in-law who uh, put together the music that you are hearing in the background of this video. She uh, made it on GarageBand or something like that. And uh, she said that she would let me use it. So I am using it. So thank you to her. Anyways, let's get on into Shadowkeep. We're going to talk about the, I guess, delay in the release date as well as the raid. So the date for Shadowkeep's release was originally in mid-September. And now it has been pushed back to October First. And to me, this is super refreshing and a great thing for probably the whole gaming industry, but particularly at least Bungie and Destiny 2 and Destiny going forward. Uh, there's been a trend over the last probably year, maybe more, but the last year comes to mind for gaming industries to release games that are only partially finished. They're not completely done. They're not a complete project or a project and the company is like, hey, we know this thing ain't completely finished. We appreciate you paying the full money for it though, but we're gonna try and fix it later. And I think that's stupid. Like we're paying full price money for a partially finished game. And the latest one for me that bit me in the butt was Anthem. But anyways, if you wanna know about Anthem, there's tons of YouTube videos out there. Basically it was a hot piece of garbage that everyone was super excited for that didn't live up to expectations. But anyways, moving back into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep talk. Having Bungie push this back, they said that they were you know, trying to give us a better product. They needed more time to get the game to be how they wanted it to be, which is fantastic. It means that we're going to have more fun, and it means that those people who left Destiny sometime between day one of Destiny 1 and now, and when they come back for that free to play uh, new. The uh, new light thing that comes with Shadow Keep are going to probably be more prone to spend money and buy the game and to keep on playing with us as opposed to checking out the, the free to play. And like, huh, this is the same kind of issues that we left for originally. We ain't paying for this, and then they're done. And we're going to. It should build the number of players that are into Destiny and expand the community, and we'll just have a lot more fun with with uh, Shadow Keep. I personally am super excited for the finishing moves. I think that's really cool that they give you perks and all that fun stuff. And I also think it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna get like these insane power numbers. Uh, Destiny One kind of kept resetting a little bit what your power light level can be, and I've been loving how we in Destiny Two keep building up. And then eventually we get to start making all the it's over 1,000 jokes because we're going to eventually get to over 1,000 power. At least I think we will. But anyways, more with the pushing back to October 1st. Um, my little personal reason, like a little, 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 little side thing is I'm also planning on covering Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 comes out early in September and so I won't be competing for my time nearly as much as it would have been if those two games came out at the same time. But for more, more applicable to everyone is that we're going to have a more polished product with Shadow Keep, with them pushing back to the release of that game until October 1st. And that's very, very exciting. All right, so let's talk about the raid. The raid has been released, as well as the name is going to be Garden of Salvation. It is taking place in the Black Garden. And more importantly, it comes out on a Saturday, on October 5th. Finally. <laughs> Finally, finally, finally. I have been hoping since like Destiny 1 with Crota's uh, end that these raids would come out on a weekend. So I thought it was really weird that something that's like a big like world's first race kind of competition community event day type of thing was coming out on, the, on a weekday because that severely limits who can actually participate. Um, I've always kind of had the excuse of well, I can't take off a couple of days of work to power up and then do a raid. And so that was nice with opulence because I could take off just one day of work. That was the first time I tried to compete. Um, but anyways, other than opulence, it's kind of always been like, well, can't even really try because it's during the week. So I don't have to worry that much about stressing to level up really fast or anything. But we finally get a raid on a weekend. And that means we're going to have more people trying to compete in the raid. More people are going to probably be streaming which means that more people are going to be seeing Bungie uh, Destiny 2 lighting up their little Twitch 
things of who's like streaming what games and it'll just bring more attention to destiny as well as it'll be more of an actual community event because the community can participate as opposed to a handful of people now odds are the same couple of clans that do these worlds first have the best shot of winning because if you think about it, they're used to figuring out raid mechanics without having any kind of a guide. And that's a pretty big advantage if you're kind of like me and you're like, well, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I might as well look up a guide instead of trying to figure it out for myself. And so they're kind of used to cracking those codes and puzzles. But it's okay, because we'll all have fun with it together. And there's going to be more people, I think, participating in the world's first a raid attempt of Garden of Salvation, or at least in the first 24 hours. Uh, and more significantly with, well not more significantly, but just as significant with it being on a Saturday is you get an extra day to power up. So you get Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then probably Saturday morning, because I would imagine the raid will release with the daily reset to try and get as high a power as you can, as opposed to opulence where you got six hours and then past raids where you got just a couple of days. And so it should just be more attainable for people to get to whatever recommended power it is and participate. Yes, I'm just real excited for it. Anyways, guys, I am Church of Caboose. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and happy grinding, y'all.